What's up, Taylor Tots? It's your girl Tati back at it with another 12 Days of Slay. Today is, drum roll please, day four of our 12 Days of Slay. And in today, we're going to give you a go to holiday Christmas beat, okay? So let's get right into it. First things first, we're going to do our eyebrows off camera because as of lately, I haven't been doing much to them. Six and a half hours later. Next, I'm going to go in with a primer I have not used in a while. I'm going to go in with my NYX Can't Stop One Without Primer. So I'm opening up a brand new liner. This is the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner and it is in the shade Jet Black. I have been using this product for years. Probably the first eyeliner I ever used. So first thing I do when I do my liner is I draw my wings. So I go like this. Ooh. I start from the edge. And I go up and boom. Okay. And then I take it across and start to create that wing. Now, of course, my liner switches up from day to day. So this is just how I do it um, right now. But of course, my liner switches. I even switch hands. Um, sometimes I do my left eyeliner with my left hand, my right eyeliner with my right hand. And sometimes I do them both with just my right hand. It just depends on how I feel that day. And so then we're gonna do a thin line in all the other places. So right across that lid, we're gonna do the thinnest line possible because I just don't like closing out my eyes. It's really easy to close out my eyes. Um, I'm doing my liner before I finish the rest of my concealer on my face, just in case that I mess up, I could clean up my liner with the concealer. Now it is time for us to put on our concealer. So we're taking the espresso color that we used on our lid and putting that right under our eyes. I'm taking the AOS Studios F8 face brush and I'm going to blend out this concealer. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more concealer. I'm, I'm going to take my Milani concealer. This is the Conceal and Perfect Concealer in Cool Toffee. And I'm gonna put that right here under my eyes. I really, I hate when I cut myself off when I'm talking, but um, I kinda like this concealer and I would really, I feel like it's a concealer that I could love, but it's something about this concealer. And I think it might be the powder combo. It's something about the color that doesn't sit right with me. Not necessarily the concealer, it's the shade. And I mean, this shade is a pretty warm shade. Like it's a, well, let me not say warm. It's a pretty red shade. I am red, so that works out really well for me. I'm using the AOA Studios F19 brush to blend this out. Um, you know, it doesn't cl clash too much with the other makeup products that I put on. But when I wear this sometimes, um, my face, I feel like it just looks a little grayish. But I think that is because of the, the combo of the powder. Because the powder is a little bit on the yellow side. I definitely have to use the powder um, sparingly. But this, I don't think it's too bad. Because it's... I picked up cool toffee because I'm red. So red is more cool. Um, and now I got scared. I was like, maybe I have to go back to the store and pick up warm toffee. But this is doing pretty good by itself. I think this is the first time I've used it without the um, powder. And I am really enjoying the 
way that it sits on my skin and the coverage. Now I'm mixing my Matte Made, my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the color D80 with a primer. I am mixing it with my NYX Hydrating Primer because I kind of want to thin it out a little bit. I know that's weird. And I just, I don't want my face to be too matte. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to blend this out with my LA Studios F6 brush. Hold on guys, because... 20 minutes later. I had a hanger stuck on my rolly chair, but um, yeah. I'm just going to go blend this out. Oh, the smell of this is an interesting smell. I think it's because I poured so much of the, um, of the NYX that it smells like this. I think I'm still getting pretty good coverage, um, but it definitely sheared it out a little bit, which is what I wanted it to do. So, um, that is great, and it's adding a hydrating touch. And that's something that you could do to your foundations um it's something that i've really been enjoying while filming and doing this 12 days of slay because 12 days of slay for me is more than just about creating 12 different looks um and this year i didn't really create 12 different looks i kind of um just did 12 different videos but i've used different techniques on my eyebrows i've used different techniques on my face i've used different blushes all of those things because my 12 days of slay is time to like experiment time to use other people's beauty um hacks and really just learn about my face like today we did concealer first we did a lot of different things we mixed our found our um we mixed our foundation with a primer which i've done before but i definitely not a hydrating primer rarely use hydrating primers we put on our concealer before we put on our foundation and then we blend it out. And I'm not going to lie, this is oh, one of my favorite, absolute favorite finishes. Like, my face looks good. It matches my body. Everything is looking really good. So, I think I'm going to only powder under my eyes. And I'm going to use the AOA Studios F32 brush. I'm taking my Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade Ebony. And I'm going to pat this powder in all of the places where I would get a little oily, so I'm putting in like mainly my highlighted areas. My lash glue is drying. I'm gonna highlight real quick because I forgot to. So I'm just taking my Copperfield palette and I'm taking that shade right here. I know y'all are tired of seeing this palette. So I'm going to try to add some different um, palettes to this, but I'm using the AO Studios F34 brush. Now we're gonna have to do it in a corner highlight because y'all know that that is, that's just a part of the deal. So we're going to take the same color and we're going to do our inner corner highlight. I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter shade right here. I'm going to put that also in my inner corner. Okay, guys. So, we're about to try to apply our lashes. Now that the lashes are added, I'm going to add a little bit of white into my waterline. This is very difficult <laughs> to do on camera. I use the, the NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner in the color white to do the white in my um in my waterline and I'm gonna add just a little bit of mascara under my eyes just to open them up a little bit so now we're gonna line our lips with a black pencil and I'll just have some Carmex on my lips I'm gonna go in with number 11 this is the Kate lipstick from Rimmel from Rimmel this is one of the first lipsticks I ever owned I will wear this red every day to school with a pair of a seven of what were they? They were like seven fourteens or something like that. Lashes, I love those lashes to the death of me. What's up, Terry Tots? I am back. I just changed my shirt to give you a little bit more glam tease to match this glam look that we are giving, and this is my finished holiday look. And get the lipstick on my teeth. You could wear this look for Christmas. You could wear this look just to go around the house. You could have wore it for Thanksgiving. You could wear this look for New Year's. It's just a go-to simple red lip. And an eyeliner just give you a very simple, quick and easy, out-the-door holiday glam. Now, of course, I have a much more extra Xmas um, or Christmas video coming up. And I also have a much more glam um, New Year's Eve, New Year's type of look coming up as well. But this is my like simple, calm one. 
compared to the other two that I'm going to be giving you. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you've been enjoying the 12 Days of Slay, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And make sure that you're sharing the video so that other people can come slay for these 12 days with us as well. Make sure you comment down below. Comment down below a red heart because I love y'all and y'all love me. Hopefully. <laughs> And last but not least, you know what you got to do, right? If you don't do anything else before you leave this video, there is one thing that you have to do and you know it. You have to subscribe to my channel so you can grow with your girl. And, and so you can grow with your girl. And, and so you can grow with your girl. And, 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 and. Break it down, in and break it down, in and break it down, in ew, ew, ew. You know what would have been great with this look? A little bit of blush. But I have not been in a blush mood. I did blush for my Christmas look last time and it did not come out so well, so that's why y'all not getting no blush. <laughs>